Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to manage eBay messages. That's right, eBay has its own little internal email system. So if you're talking to a buyer or a seller or you're talking to eBay, they have their own email area where you actually can manage all your messages back and forth between everybody. And I'm going to show you where that is in this video and also how to manage it and make it a lot easier for you. So if you have like any email system like Gmail, whatever, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's all to do with what happens inside of eBay. So I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a moment. Please, before we get going, hit the like on this video. It helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. I put one out a week. 90% uh, of the time it comes out on Thursday, so keep checking back every week for the new how-to videos. Okay, let's get going. Okay, first thing we want to do is sign into our eBay account, which I already did. If you haven't signed into your eBay account, so you're in it. Once you're signed in, you're going to look to the top right. You're going to look for My eBay. Just hover over this. It should sh it should take the menu up here. And once you do that, just look all the way. Second from the bottom is Messages. Easy way to find your messages. Is they don't make it hard. So you're going to go in here. Now you're in your messages. And once you're in your messages, this is where you get to manage it. So it's your inbox. You have from members, from eBay. But I, I just want to focus on all messages which works. So there's a couple things they offer here. They offer you to delete messages. You can archive messages. You can mark messages as or move the messages to a different folder. You can even uh, sort it by unread ones and ones you have flagged, which the flag is right here. Now, when you want to delete one, you'll have to select the box to the left of the message. So if you wanted to delete, like say, no, that's a good one. I want to keep that email. Okay. So you'll say you want to delete this one. You hit the X and then you just hit delete. Um, I'm not going to delete that yet. Um, actually, I'll do this. No. Yeah. Let's see. Which one? I'll delete this one. I don't mind that one going away. So you hit that. You select it. You hit delete. And it's gone. So it will go to the trash can, which is right over here. You can always check back in there and empty your trash can every so often. I think after 30 days, they empty it. And then you also can archive things. So if you want an archive, let's say archive this. Click the um, check mark. Hit archive. And it sends it to the archive folder which is right here if you want to check on anything you archived. So on the left side is your menu for that. Now, if you wanted to move one of these, so let's say I got this this one right here we're going to mark as actually. Let's mark this one as I either read it or uh, it was not read, so it marks it back. So if I say read, it, it goes, you know, it doesn't, it's not bolded like this one. So if you click this again, you can mark it as I didn't read that one yet. And it'll, it will make, no, unread. There you go. So if you unread it, oh. No message is selected. Okay, sorry. So there you must make it so unread. There you go. So now it's now to bold. So it's like you didn't read it. And and then the other options in here is unflagged. Um, and you can flag them. So you can unflag one or flag it. So it's very simple. If you want to unflag it, you probably could just click on that. But So that's the way you do that for mark as. The other one is move to. So you got to click this little. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just clicking on each one of these and that brings down the menu. So you click on this. You can trash ones you marked. You can archive ones you marked. It's just another way of doing it instead of doing it out here. Then there's also my folder one. So I have folders made over here. If you see folders, I have one named my folder one. I have no idea why it's named that. Uh, I have eBay buying. Now that one's I did make. And then so those are the two folders I've created on here. So you can move them to those folders just by using this. Um, you can save messages, which I'm not really going to go over in this video, or you can trash them. So what we're going to do, let's do this. We're going to click on this one, and I can move it to eBay buying. So there. Now it's moved into that folder. So if you want to go check it out, you click over on the folder, and it'll be done. So that's how you actually manage them. It's not a lot to it. Um, these are You can sort it as received. You can sort it by subject or from items ended, which is basically like any email system works. It's the same way. So you, it's very easy to um, get a, a grasp on it and you won't have to, it won't take you a very short amount of time to understand how to work this. Now, if you wanted to make a different folder, there's a little bonus for you. You can go over here and just add a folder. So I'm going to call it, and it automatically makes you name it. So I'm going to say gaming folder. So we're just going to call it gaming. And then once you do that, all you do, but make sure you hit enter when you do that. So it doesn't, it doesn't stick unless you hit the enter key on your keyboard. So you enter and there you go. Now I have a gaming folder, which I'll actually, I'll use that because I kind of need that one. So that's how you do it on that. So just like I said, you have sent ones, your, all your folders are over here and the ones you create or you can create folders are right there. 
and that's how you can manage your messages on your eBay account. And mine says I have 62 messages. Obviously, I don't go through this very often, so because I, if I get a message, it goes to my other email too. So, so sometimes I don't go in here, but it is good to know where this is so you can manage these messages if you're on eBay as much as I am, I, which I've been on a lot more. So that's how you manage your eBay messages. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.